Welcome to the presentation, The Optimum Histogram Utility for Oracle Databases, Maximize Oracle SQL Execution Efficiency. Please note that this is an add-on utility to the existing books by Oracle. It's just a different way of approaching uh, the information and how stats are supplied to the optimizer. And you will see the impact of these new st statistics and histograms and density factors. The Optimum Oracle Histograms. The Optimum Oracle Optimum Histogram Utility scans an Oracle table and gathers column distribution statistics at a granular level. This data is used to determine the maximum number of buckets, the minimum bucket width, and the maximum number of popular values that can be calculated for a column. The OHU algorithm results are stored in a histogram for utilization by the Oracle Optimizer. Before utilizing OHU, a special utility should be used and is supplied to save all of Oracle's calculate histograms into a holding area for instant restore. An OHU utility is also provided to instantly reload the Oracle calculate histograms for one or all columns of a specified table from a holding area. Thus, uh, DBM stats does not need to be rerun. There's two types. Type A, which generates histograms that produce optimal histograms to be used in all predicate operators. And there's the Type E, which generates logarithmic histograms for equality predicate operators. The Oracle optimizes methods on equal operations were studied and algorithms produced that populate a Type E histogram to optimally meet the requirements of equal operators. From a business perspective, it was determined that many columns, country, state, province, salutation, are always used with the quality operators, thus histograms should be specifically created to meet these requirements. The Oracle Optimum estimation accuracy for a quality operation can be increased by factors of 100, and this will all be indicated in the demonstration. OHU Type A attributes. I'll just cover a couple of them. There's no maximum bucket limit. Contains maximum number of popular views. Contains a small bucket width feasible given data skew and data volume. Maximum accuracy, density, and popular value estimates. And this is all because the 254 bucket limit uh, is no longer does no longer apply to the Type E Type E. As as a result, the density factors become more accurate and the popular uh, value bucket widths become a lot smarter and there's a far greater number of them and you'll see the impact. And the type E, no maximum bucket limit, all OHU endpoints are logarithmic popular values and contains the smallest possible density for the table column given data skew and data volume. Again, special logarithmic popular value bucket counts to supply maximum accuracy to the Oracle optimizer. Now this is the impact on the optimizer estimations. Density is the proportion of non-popular values divided by the number of non-popular values. This is taken to be the, the selectivity of equality predicates for non-popular values. So you can see by these equations, okay, if the number of popular values, which is a factor, you'll see this in the demonstration, that the number of popular values have increased for a column, the density becomes a much finer number, okay? And it also has an impact, since the density is a much finer um, number, it has a, an impact on the um, raw index cost. Now, this is the test overview. Selection of candidate columns from a single test table and testing Oracle and OHU type A and E histograms and density numbers against SQL statements using predicate values that are non-popular and popular. Estimated rows and costs are recorded to compare the differences between the Oracle and OHU results and their impact on the optimizer selection plans. Complex SQL against multiple tables at this time could confuse the understanding of the OHU testing results. The results of these tests can be extrapolated to determine the benefits to complex SQL. Once the mechanics and impact the OHU on the Oracle optimizers, estimation accuracy is understood. Complex SQL scenarios will be presented in another demonstration. Now we're going to move to actual demonstration. Now we're running it against 11.2.0.1 database and what we did was we uh, packaged all the scripts into this script here which will test a number of SQL statements, again numeric column type, to give you an idea of the impact. Now table, order line items, number of rows, 7,891,000, a number of types of columns here, numerics, and we have a date, and we have varchar. 
So these are the results of our test. And you can see we've caught the times and the, and the uh, autostats have been set on. OK, order line items, account ID was chosen, size 254, SMA percent of 100. OK, then we're going to run step three, which is to save the statistics gathered here. Now you can see it took 4 minutes and 41 seconds for it to execute to do all the work on that column and to get the histograms. Now we're going to save them using this utility. This utility, which is supplied, this package is supplied, and it's part of the OHU uh, uh, family of products. Um, there's a status code return, which indicates success or failure, one is success. And if it was a uh, failure, there would be a clean error message indicated here. No need to search the alert log. So we've gone and saved them. And we're saving them for instant restore later on. We're now going to go and generate the type E and the type E histogram. So it does this type of super analyze on the data. Now it ran, status one completed, and it only took 11 seconds to execute to calculate both type E and type E histograms and density factors. Now step five, we ran a view, and what this view does, it indicates, okay, the, uh, the results of um, of a number of tests, including the account ID test, which we just ran. Now you can see there's the type A with 1,031 buckets and a density factor of 0 0.0017. You can see this type B with a logarithmic bucket count with, again, a, a finer density. And then there's Oracle calculated, 254 bucket at 0 0.003. So you can see that uh, given the equation that we just showed you previously, the number of popular values has gone way up for the A, even higher for the E, and for the Oracle it's 44. And as a result of this, that you get this finer density numbers, and you will see the impact on the Oracle optimizer. Now in this case, you see that um, for delivery code, there's over 240,000 buckets count, uh, calculated, and you can see the accuracy of the density. It's gone way, way, way down compared to what Oracle calculated for the same column. So let's take a look at the impact. Okay, here's the same information that I was just uh, discussing from the view. Now for every test we have flushed a share pool in the buffer cache to make every test equal. The first test with the Oracle uh, histograms and density factors. You can see 1089 is the actual count. Oracle's cardinality based on that density number that was calculated is 24,439, table access full, perform, to execute, 146,000 gets, 145,000 physical needs. Now we're going to load the A, which again is this utility. Flush the pool, perform the same test, and you can see it's on an index range scan, and the cardinality is only off by a fact about 200. As a result, it only takes one second to execute. So you can see the impact on the execution plan selected by the optimizer. Consistent gets 424, 115 physical reads. Now we're going to load the E, same type of utility, all supplied. Flush the pools, perform the same test in the Cardinale 669. Again, an index range scan, only one second execute. 420 consistent gets 115 physical reads. Now we're going to perform a non popular multiple value quality test using the OHUE. Flush the pool, and what this is showing is we've got up to 16 values here, and we want to measure, uh, based on this new density, how well, how well it will use the index, and that's from the raw index cost. You can see from the test, 1834, index range scan again. Now Oracle would have probably, with its histograms, for sure uh, performed a table scan, so you can see the accuracy. It takes 13 seconds to execute. So you can see the impact. 3,400 consistent gets, 3,000 uh, physical reads. Now we're going to restore local histograms. This is instant. This is that from that whole area I was uh, describing before. And now we're going to do a popular value test. We're going to flush the pool. We picked a popular value from the table. We run the test. We can see the Oracle. That's cardinality 24,439. 
when the actual count is 14,827, 14, a difference of 10,000. The result is uh, table X is full, 29 seconds to execute again, and 146,000 consistent gets 145,000 reads. Now we're going to load the A, very simple package and procedure. Flush the pool, perform the same test, and we can see the cardinality is 15308, so it's only about 500 off. Index range scan performed, consistent gets way down, physical reads way down, only seven seconds to execute. We load the E, flush the pools, run the same test. Now, one of the factors of the E is that uh, the popular value estimates that cardinality uh, the optimizer comes up with is 99.9% .9 the same as the count. So it's an actual value. So Oracle supplied uh, optimum um, uh, histograms. And this is uh, the reason why the E was created, because it was uh, uh, for equal and in operators. We could see that uh, there was a different pattern can be used with the logarithmic uh, histograms. And uh, you can see that the impact on what the optimizer has chosen. Now, we, again, we restored the Oracle histograms. And this we're describing here the difference in uh, the widths being calculated by the A1031 into the sample size. You can see the finer, this is Oracle, this is the type A. You can see the uh, vast uh, differences in this case of widths, and that impacts. Uh, accuracy. Now we're going to do a numeric range scan a quality test. Okay, so what we got is a bunch of popular values. Run the test with Oracle's histograms loaded from the previous. Does it a fast full index scan. Uh, four seconds to execute. And 16,000 physical reads. Now we load the A, flush the pools, perform the same test, and we can see we're at 246, 285. Index range scan performed, only one second to execute. Consistent gets physical reads way down. We load the E, flush the pools, perform the same test. The result is, as observed before, is bang on. The actual count is equal to the, the cardinality is actually equal to the count. So you can see the, you can extrapolate the benefits. We're going to restore the histograms and density factors for uh, oracles. Now we're going to try using a between operator to show that it works with the greater than, uh, equal to, and less than equal to. Okay, so Oracle histograms are in memory. We perform the test. We can see Oracle's histo uh, cardinality is 28, 4, 1, and 8. Table access full, 29 seconds to execute. Again, uh, 100,000 consistent gains, 100,000 physical reads. We load the A. Flush the pool, perform the same test. We can see it's down to 15308. Index range scan performed, and only seven seconds to execute. Now we restored the Oracle histograms. Now this gives you a brief demonstration of the power of this tool. Um, you can reach me at my email address. This presentation is available to you through a PowerPoint. And uh, please uh, view the other um, tests and demonstrations that are in this category. Watching.